Good morning, everyone. This is James Chung, Seren Rowe's Master. It's a privilege to stand in front of you and share with you information. Thank you. And uh, welcome all our distinguished guests and uh, fellow colleagues. And uh, I just want to share with you something that I hope you will begin to take action and do. Is that a good thing? So, perhaps, every time when you hear the word say, when I say yes, I'd like you to repeat after me and affirm with me and say yes as well. Is that all right? Thank you very much. Now, I want to live well. Yes? Yes. I want to learn well. Yes? Yes. And I want to love well. Yes? Yes. And of course, we want to share well. Yes? Yes. Very good. So, this is what we want to do, and we want to begin doing that. And let me ask you, how many of you here wants health? I didn't say yes. eh? (laughs) How many of you here want money? How many of you want money more than health? (laughs) All right, very good. Yes. And for a start, for a start, tell yourself inside, I want health. Pronounce properly, uh, otherwise you'll be saying, I want hell. (laughs) (laughs) Today, I want to talk to you about supplements, health products. All right? Now, I spent about a year looking at all the health products in Atomy before I was willing to put my reputation at stake and as a professional, willing to share the products with my patients and with the people that I worked with. And I do that because I want to take responsibility. And today, as I share with you information, I also take responsibility. Because every time when you stand in front of here, what you say is a double-edged sword. In other words, it works for you, for me, or it works against me. Because you hear it and you have a different idea altogether. So what I say will be very important. So today, it's about supplement. All right? And... How many of you think that we need supplement? Uh, No, not not everybody, because not every hands are up. And I understand. How many of you here wants to be convinced before you take supplements? Yes. Right? Now, I want you to know whether you are convinced or not doesn't change the facts of science. You got my picture? You you understand? Things will not change because you are more convinced or you are less convinced. What's important is to look at the information, look at science. That's why we learn well. You want to understand. And then you begin to take. On the other hand, you need to take action. You need to begin to take supplements and see how it works for you because that's part of your learning. So today, based on a simple research, if you look at the slides now, all right, a simple research that talks about why the need for supplement, they talk about metabolic tune-up. And our body goes through a metabolism every day. Whether you are convinced or not convinced, it is happening. Your body goes through a wear and tear all the time. And because of that, they found that actually a lot of people, while they are eating well, They believe they are doing well, and all of us do believe that you are doing well, taking care of yourself yourself as best you can, even so, because we are not expert, we do make mistakes. And the survey found that there are as high as 37% of the people not having enough vitamin C, which your body cannot make, cannot keep, and you need to take them every day, all right? Even as you take them, some portions are always lost because it's water-soluble. You can't help it. So, therefore, you need to take a lot more. Talking about vitamin C, you know the founder of vitamin C, Dr. Linus Pauling, a Nobel Prize winner scientist, basically 
advocated the need for a high dose of vitamin C for particular purposes, yes, but in general purposes, all of us, you can do with a fairly good amount of vitamin C every day because not all will be absorbed. That is one of the challenges we have. So, in any case, we look at also vitamin E insufficiency in our body, even though you think you are eating very well and very carefully, or a lack of zinc or a lack of iron in our body. So, when that happens, then you know, right, as much as you think you are doing well, taking care of yourself, there is always more information to understand, more things to learn, and new practices to adopt. So that's why we talk about health in terms of preventing diseases and in terms of optimizing your health. It is a two-way thing, right? Where you may not be able to prevent disease, your health is kept at a high level, you deter or you delay, all right, the prognosis of disease. In other words, the challenges of disease if you maintain well. So some people take supplements and they tell us, hey, I don't feel a difference. Yes, you may not feel a difference, but you need to give yourself time, number one. Number two, it depends on what you're looking at. Right? If you haven't been sick for a while, I heard of this testimony of a, of a, a, a customer of mine had been taking this supplement but working over time, and yet at the end of the day, most of her colleagues fell sick at the same amount of stress level at work and she was doing well. She was doing fine, okay, even though she was tired. And it, suddenly she realized it could have been the supplement that was helping her maintain her health. Right? Recently, because of, a, of many travels that I did, I, was, I, I had some viral infection, okay? but I didn't fall sick. So my record is still pretty good. More than 20-something years, I haven't fall sick yet. <laughs> All right? And... Can I say it's a supplement? In some way, yes. Of course, it is also your lifestyle that you need to look at. So, atomy is really about lifestyle. When you think about lifestyle and good supplement and good health supplement, what do you think of? What do you think of? Good health supplement. What is, how to tell that a good health supplement, what must it have? Quality. How is quality represented? A lot of synthetic or natural. Very good. So I want to share with you something that is natural. Do you recognize this item? How many of you don't know what is this? Yes, all right. This is just a herb, a plant-based herb. When we talk about natural, we talk about plant-based. So Atomy gives you plant-based substances as much as is possible. That is actually your milk thistle. All right? Your milk thistle. Now, when we talk about milk thistle, one of the main things that it will help you in, which part of your body? Liver. liver. Very good. Life depends on the? Yes, life depends on the liver. You as the person who lives and your liver as well. One of your main and most important detox organ in your body. And they have different phase of detox in your body as you enhance your liver. Make sure your liver is doing its good job because if the liver drops its function to as close as 30% remaining, you still will, know, will have no sign and symptoms. You cannot tell. So, easily half of us do not have 100% liver condition. We probably have 80% or 60% or 50% and still feel very well, but that is really not the case. All right? If you have headache, it is already not the case. If you have skin rashes, sensitive skin, and you say, oh, because it's Atomy's product, it's too sensitive, it's too rich, and I use it, and I have this problem and that problem. Hello? Life depends on the liver. Chances are your liver is already challenged because of the detoxing ability that it has dropped over time, which we don't realize. So the main thing is to lower your liver disease risk as well as fatty liver index. Some of us may have fatty liver, including fatty liver that is what we call non-alcoholic induced. In other words, it is not due to drinking. So when that happens, you will you will have no sign and symptoms in that sense, except that you go for a blood test and they check and they find that it is, you have a fatty liver. 
And so far, I've seen many patients with fatty liver and the medical doctors would tell them there is no particular medicine that can solve your fatty liver issue, really. All right? But I know how to solve it. All you need to do is a lot more garlic, ginger and lemon, really. Because these are food to your liver. If you take them in the right way and if you take them well and regularly, you give your body food, the liver. Why do I say that? Because in clinical studies, they show that, example, in this case, milk thistle, it can help you in your liver cells. Your liver cells will wake up, your liver cells will do its job. It doesn't decline, it doesn't spoil too quickly. And in that sense, the chances of inflammation, all right, which is known as the hepatitis, your inflammation, so hepatitis B, Hep B or Hep C, they are basically inflammation of the liver. All right? And there are many other related conditions. Okay? So when you take milk thistle, milk thistle can do that job for you. Give the liver food so that your inflammation, the chances of inflammation comes down a lot more. And also it will protect your liver cells. Okay? What else? Premature aging. How many of you like premature aging? Nobody likes. All right? Premature means it's not due yet, but it happened. So when there is premature aging, all right, as well as uh, UV-induced damages, for example, okay, then your cell begins to age sooner and the cell life, the lifespan gets shorter and shorter. And that is not a good sign because when it duplicates new cell, it tends to duplicate the wrong type of cell, less than the original cell. So when that happens after a couple of generations, you will have totally new cells that your body gets used to. And then one fine day, you have a lump here and you have a lump there and you wonder how do they come about. It is because of the various generation of cell multiplication that no longer follows the original cell and the function of the cell. So in studies, they found that the main ingredient in your milk thistle, your silymarin, basically what it does, it is a very powerful anti antioxidant. So the glutathione, glutathione basically is the substance that is made in the liver. The most powerful antioxidant in your body, the mother of all antioxidation that is happening in your body. So your liver needs to make that and you need to give your liver food. And one of the best food for your liver is milk thistle. It is a food for the liver. So if you haven't been taking any form of uh, milk thistle, you are not doing service to your liver because this is one of the key food that we talk about. So this glutathione is a protein molecule. So what it does, it do all the detoxification and antioxidant. Anti it's a very powerful antioxidant for your body and keeps you well and healthy, especially because your liver must filter all the toxins that is in your blood all the time. All right? It filters your blood. Your liver filters four liters of your blood every minute. All right? It just goes through on and on. So take note of that. All right? That a good liver will really help you in terms of your health. What else does it help you? How many of you have problem with cholesterol and blood sugar? If you are falling asleep, you have problem with blood sugar, even though you are not diabetic. You may not be but diabetic to have a problem with sugar. Right? This afternoon, we will know. After lunch, let's see what happens. All right? And thereafter, you may consider giving yourself some milk thistle so you can handle your blood sugar much better. Right? Why? Because in a study, they found that actually when you have milk thistle, your body can handle blood sugar better and therefore less chance of you becoming diabetic. And diabetic is a chronic condition whereby you are not able to handle blood sugar so well, it becomes, in, it becomes a disease state all right? and develop into many other related conditions, which the medical science call it diabetes. But actually, that's just a name. The condition is your blood is not doing so well. Okay, so let's move on. What about this flower? What's this? Can anybody guess from the same product? That's your radiola, which is part of the milk thistle. 
in the Atomy product that we know of. Why would the chairman agree to add this item into the milk thistle when in the market milk thistle stand alone that is good enough? Well, the reason is milk thistle basically will do certain things but not do everything. So one example of what radiola will do for you, basically it will reduce your negative stress effects and your lethargy. Milk thistle improve your sugar handling. Radiola improves your sense of uh, energy. All right? So it is a combination left and right. So this is a good combination and that's why I like about Atomy products. The scientists behind them think through what it means for us when we take the supplement. So in this case, it actually will allow us to do better in terms of, all right, in terms of uh, our e the effect for our body. So it shows that it regulates our stress hormones so that you have less sense of lethargy, being tired, suddenly very tired. So it, when you are feeling sleepy, is it a sugar issue? 50% of the time, the other 50% of the time, you are just very uh, you know, lethargic and you need to drive up your engine. Yes? Yes? Very good. Get your engine going. What else does Rhodiola do for you? It will reduce depression and cognitive decline. Can you live with depression and cognitive decline? Yes, we think, we think no, but some people just live with it. All right. So the first three of milk thistle that you know deals with things that you cannot live with it. In other words, it's going to hurt you. But the next three things deal with things that a lot of us live with it, but actually it's not a good thing, like cognitive decline, cannot remember anymore, cannot think straight. And today, if you're not motivated in atomy, please take this. <laughs> Perhaps there is some cognitive decline. I don't know. Because you believe in yourself more than you believe in the facts that we show you, not just us. We show you because we have walked there and we understand. And now we are leading the way and we ask you to join us. All right. So, depression, cognitive decline, they found that in double-blind controlled study, actually, it does improve your mental capabilities. All right. And it helps you to stay motivated and active. So, would you prefer to be motivated all the time or to be depressed all the time? <laughs> yes. Right. And would you come to a uh, success academy and get depressed? <laughs> no. We want to get motivated. Right. So, if you haven't taken your milk thistle, I can't help you because there's little you can do for your liver. So, think about that and take that, all right? And of course, it raises your energy, okay? And of course, in terms of your fat loss, weight loss, all right, it will also increase that ability. And this is very helpful because whenever you have a weight issue, you also have a liver issue. If you have a fat issue, you have a liver issue. If you have a cholesterol issue, you have a liver issue because of the bowel salts. That's one of the main reasons. All right? So the studies again shows that in both human and animal studies, all right, it helps us all right, as far as milk thistle is concerned. So go ahead and use this product. If you haven't used it, this is part it is part of a range of products that I normally would recommend that we do it on a daily basis because life depends on the liver. And it is very safe in both controlled human and animal studies. There is really very little toxicity. So you can take them. All right. and, uh, in some cases, some people may have diarrhea, but that's only a um, couple of rare cases, not common. And of course, there'll be some people who are allergic to flour or allergic to herb. All right, take note of that. Then, of course, you may have to think of other options. Huh? Your, your lemon, garlic, and ginger will be a good option. Then, of course, uh, sometimes it's because of uh, uh, medication that works against your supplement. Or in some cases, you are not ready for it because you are pregnant or you are nursing your children. So just give yourself a short break, okay? and then you will be able to do better. Okay, so just one more product before we go. When you look at this, what do you think of? What do you think of? Something in a sea, something that is very small, okay, and something that is very natural. And today I want to share with you the natural source of protein. 
How many of you think that protein is a very important food in our daily items, right? A lot of us like to eat meats, right? But after today, you may not like meat so much. And I'll tell you why. Huh? Okay, first of all, why spirulina? Because it gives you up to 60-70% of protein that you need. So if you want protein, think about spirulina. How many of us here have not taken spirulina? Not yet. All right? Okay, give it a thought because it is 100% as far as this supplement is concerned. It gives you very important amino acids, fatty acids, minerals, vitamins, and anti antioxidant substances. Right? So based on that, you have a safe bet. We are talking about combination. Eating meat is a different story altogether. Why? There you are. When you eat meat for the protein, you only have about 25%. But if you go for spinach, you become like papaya. Yes? When you go for kale, you have 45% protein and so on. When you have spirulina, you have 60-70% protein. And good proteins are very, very important. For example, your glutathione we talk about is a protein molecule. When you have any form of anti, uh, sorry, autoimmune condition, it usually boils down to denatured proteins. Proteins that doesn't work for you, proteins that your body cannot identify, I don't know what to do with it, except attack it. And when it attacks it, most of the time, they mix up some of your protein tissues, including your thyroid, and it attacks it. So a lot of us have metabolic condition because of that, all right? because of the protein. So protein is a complicated nutrient. Give yourself the best protein that is your safe bet. And spirulina offers that naturally from the sea, naturally in good environment and very well manufactured for you so that we can have it and have good protein and save yourself the headache of trying to digest protein, which requires up to six, seven hours, all right, in the case of a meat. But in the case of a vegetable, which also has proteins, it will have less. And in the case of spirulina, far less because of the nature of this protein molecule that you are taking. So there you are, pure natural materials, okay, a patented technology to give you the best uh, um, one-stop food, spirulina, because of the various multivitamin that is in there, almost like a naturally occurring multivite that you can consider because of the thin cell and high absorption rate. And of course, let me just quickly talk about why spirulina Cholesterol. How many of you here have cholesterol issue? All right. From time to time, we all do. But even up to today, after 50 years, then the medical world decided to turn around and say, once upon a time, cholesterol is bad. Now, maybe not so bad. All right. Because cholesterol is also a complicated issue. Not all scientists fully understand or are updated with the latest research because everybody is looking at different things all the time. So let's... Consider cholesterol, how that it actually will improve, lower your total cholesterol, your LDL, which is the two main concern when it comes to cholesterol issue. Lower your triglycerides, that is another important factor when we talk about uh, high cholesterol. We look at these three factors as well. So it is able to do that. Better yet, it can raise your HDL, all right, which is the good cholesterol that your body needs a lot more. So in this case, by having spirulina, you actually will help manage the cholesterol issue very efficiently. Anti-inflammation, that is the other consideration. All right, The nutrient inside spirulina has anti-inflammatory effects. And that is very good because it is also about anti-age, uh, premature aging, and it, breaks, it keeps your cell uh, well protected. That's what anti-inflammation is all about. Okay, I just want to move on quickly because of time. And of course, again, blood pressure, iron deficiency. Spirulina helps. So while we say hemohem, if you recommend to people with high blood pressure, you need to be very careful because it may work against you because hemohem can increase. All right. Having said that, now you can consider spirulina as a start of 
for high blood pressure people before eventually you come back to hemohim again because spirulina is able to help reduce your blood pressure as proven by clinical studies again. It can actually enable the body to go back to a more manageable blood pressure. Okay, so from here, just one more good point about spirulina helps in your blood uh, sugar as well. So there you are, milk thistle, spirulina, blood sugar go down. If you take it this afternoon, you'll be able to concentrate better. Okay, so in the studies, you will find that for people who take it up to 2 grams, I'm not suggesting that you do that huh? because this is a experiment condition. So it's a lot of factors are being controlled. But this gives you an idea that so when they take it under certain condition, you are able to achieve certain result. So if you're not sure, you can come and speak with us. But otherwise, you can safely use as what the company suggested to you. However, spirulina is a little bit sensitive. Watch out for autoimmune condition. MS, SLE, RA, right? Patients like that, you want to ask first before you recommend spirulina because it may work against you. All right? So this is what you need to pay attention to. And uh, let me just move on very quickly. How do we take? Milk thistle, everyone can take very low toxicity except for nursing mother and pregnant women. Children after 12, if they have condition, they can also consider taking milk thistle. Some children have headache all the time. So this is one consideration. The liver is already not strong because of all the fast food and so on. So how do we take the supplements? Always, always, always remember water first. So before lunch or two, it's water first. Water first to get your system going to set the stage of your intestines and stomach for absorption. Water first and then in the morning comes hemohim, which will enable your brain function, literally because of better blood circulation, to begin to function the right way and set you up for a good defence for the rest of the day. This is important every day. Think about that. And of course, I usually would recommend your probiotics and your vitamin C, which are necessary for absorption to help to improve absorption and digestion just before your food. Now, for today, having recommended spirulina, I highly recommend before food. If you want your protein, because they are pH sensitive, so you don't want an acidic environment to expect your spirulina to be absorbed because it will not happen, okay? Because they are very thin cell. So when you eat a lot of food and you take in soup, soup, uh, spirulina, you are generally more acidic because most foods will increase acids in your body, right? So take spirulina before meal if you really want the benefit of spirulina. And of course, please eat healthy meals because we want you to live well and it is not about supplement. It is about our lives. And supplement is to support us. Perhaps some of us will use a replacement meal. Not all of us will do that. Never mind. I'm just giving you an example. But after the meal, then comes your milk thistle and your oil. So these are the foundational products now to enable you to have a good liver, a good antioxidant defense, all right? good uh, blood condition, and of course, for some of us with medical condition, remember your water. Again, before your next meal, if you want to repeat your supplement, you can take them again, and uh, including a good beverage from time to time because green tea has very good benefits. So some of us thought that, oh, uh, you're telling me to take a lot of supplement. Yes, a lot of supplement because based on the very first study, we know when you eat well, you will still have shortage in the nutrients in your food because that is the way it is nowadays. And with that, remember, drink your water, take your spirulina, take your milk thistle, you will do well for your body and this afternoon, you'll do much better. Thank you very much.